some weird German scientists, some spies, and the reason why I failed math class. It's top 10 unusual conspiracies in history. Number 10 Germans escaping. Usually in stories and tales of greatness, when the hero wins, that's it. The villain is vanquished and the story wraps up. The hero even wins the romance too, sometimes, depending on the story. Well, what if in the story the hero wins, but their friends who helped them win uh, started acting less less like a hero and, and more like a villain, and, and some of the villains worst and nastiest henchmen actually escape to another side of the planet where they live happily ever after. Even if they shouldn't because they committed heinous war crimes. Ooh, yeah, that's not a great story, is it? No, it's not. Well, that's just what happened. Yes, when World War II ended, any German whose reputation was worth his salt used rat lines to escape to sympathetic places like South America. Some even think old Mustache Man himself made it out. Thus, the theory is a lot more than we thought made it out. And as it turns out, yeah, they, they kind of did. That, one, that one's kind of proven true. Number nine, Operation Paperclip. Kind of related to the last point, but also equally disturbing and strange. Similar to my last point is something a lot of folks may not know, but it, it is actually a proven conspiracy. When World War II was coming to its dramatic close, and the curtains were coming to a close, it was clear that the Germans had been busy with science experiments, mainly rockets and propulsion, but some other weird stuff too. America, not wanting to sit out the space race, decided maybe it was best if some of these German scientists made it back their way. And well, try to help them with their science homework. Trouble is, some of these guys were really really bad and had a lot of blood on their hands, some, sometimes literally. All you gotta do is google NASA and Werner von Braun and the results may surprise you. It's, it's not good. Number 8. Not So Slim Shady Marshall Mathers, Eminem, Suburban Parents Worst Nightmare and the same guy who makes all white kids in the schoolyard feel a little bit cooler, right? I personally am a huge fan. The faster he can spit rhymes that upset my mother, the better. Oh, I love him. Known for his unique rhyming and punchlines, Eminem has left a mark on the music industry. He's been around for a long time and most likely will be for a while longer. Well, some conspiracies state that he actually passed away in 2006 and he has been replaced by a clone and or a robot depending on who you ask. Okay, first off, I don't even know how to get to Kamino, so the cloning thing that doesn't even make sense. Although, the rapping robot does make sense because that's the only thing capable of keeping up with his unhuman speed and flow. It's a weird story nonetheless. Number 7 Flat Earth. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Sure, there's some that make a lot of sense to me and absolutely have shreds of truth. No doubt, you can't deny that. However, some people take things a little too far, and that's exactly what Flat Earth theory is. It's just ridiculous. My whole argument is that if two people in a conversation and or debate cannot agree that the world is in fact round, spherical, or globe, whatever the globists want to call it, then there is no further conversation to be had. It is a foundational concrete fact. You cannot change that. To me, what's so unusual about the whole thing is that the earth being round is not new. Ancient civilizations figured this out with math and logic. Even in medieval times, the finger quote dark ages, people still had the belief the earth was round. Sure, there were doubters, but the truth was there, and it's still here now, even better now. It's up to those if they choose to accept that or not. Number 6. Aliens Built the Pyramids the Great Pyramids of Giza are a wonder of the ancient world and a spot that attracts thousands of tourists each year. I'd love to see it myself, pretty cool, I just want to, to touch one of the rocks. Structures of magnificent size and complexity, especially in the inner tombs and sanctums. To this day, scientists, historians, and archaeologists are not 100% sure on how they were constructed, or a lot of things around that area to be honest. There are many theories and speculation on how this was done, like large ramps, 40,000 unpaid workers, the Nile River was used as a supply highway perhaps? Again, the list goes on, we're not sure. However, strangely enough, there are those that think she was built by extraterrestrials. Which is, wow, well, that's, that's where we're on this list already. Aliens giving ancient humans the technology, or I guess beaming up blocks like Star Trek and then placing them? Not, not really sure how that whole thing works out. My only issue with that is why didn't they stay? I mean, what, what kind of creature helps build a world wonder then is like, all right, man, uh, have a good time at the pyramid. Peace out. I'll see you later. Have a good time at that. Yeah. And uh, we're taking all our technology away. You guys can't have that. We just built you some pyramids. There you go, man. That's for you, man. We love you, man. There you go. There you go. 
Stupid. Number five, Atari Dump. This one's one of my favorites. I love video games. A cool story. 1983, the home video game console market crashes. With exuberant prices, no guarantee of quality, and a market flooded with every company trying to capitalize on the home console market, well, it just makes sense that it collapsed. The final nail in the coffin was E.T. the video game, a game so bad it broke the camel's back. We're doubling up on the aliens today. Trouble is, Atari had printed more cartridges than consoles, so when the market crashed, there was a lot of extra games around and nobody was spending the money to buy them. Well, the rumor and conspiracy was that Atari couldn't get rid of all the copies fast enough, so they filled up trucks and trucks with thousands of them, and the pale moon light drove into the New Mexican desert and dumped them there to be buried and forgotten. We all thought it was ridiculous and just some modern conspiracy or mythology story, which is pretty cool. However, in 2014, they were actually found. This actually happened. It was estimated to be 700,000 copies of the game to be exact. It might have actually been other copies as well, but there's a large sum of video games buried in the desert. That is so crazy. That's such a cool story. Number four, Nero. Similar to the Elvis Presley situation, Emperor Nero may not have actually passed away. History has it down as that he was forced into a corner and had no choice but to, uh, how you say, unalive manually. However, that may or may not have been what actually happened. Nero was probably the most Roman emperor to ever well, be a Roman emperor. Lavishing in his party life, fine foods, wines, women. He was a textbook narcissist and a violent dictator. So it's kind of surprising he didn't have a backup plan. I mean, everybody's got a backup plan. I mean, heck, even Emperor Palpatine had himself cloned and pickled in the worst Star Wars trilogy. Yes, I will come back for the new trilogy. To add to that, he was buried privately, which means there's no confirmation of such. And years after, many tried to claim that they were Nero as some sort of weird imposter thing. It's pretty sus. Number three, Pearl Harbor. December 7th, 1941, a day that shall live in infamy. The United States was deliberately attacked by the Empire of Japan. It was a very sad day for America, and it was about to be a big problem for Italy, Germany, and Japan. They're coming. However, that being said, the situation isn't as black and white as the history books will tell you. America had been providing support to allies in Europe with all kinds of equipment, and to help curb Imperial Japanese expansion in the East, and to also aid the Commonwealth forces there, America cut off Japan's supply from oil. So. The attack on Pearl Harbor wasn't totally unprovoked. Now, the conspiracy is that America quite possibly knew of the attack and waited for them to do it anyway. Hence why the Navy targets Japan was expected to destroy weren't there and would give Casas Belli for joining the war effort. Although, in my historical opinion, not much was needed. I, I doubt the international community would have been upset if the US rolled up their sleeves and helped out which they did big time in World War II. It's kind of hard for the international community to be upset when they're being invaded by the rest of the international community. It's kind of a weird story, actually, when you think about it. Number two, aliens visiting Germany. More aliens, who would've, who would've thought aliens? This sounds weird, right? Well, basically the theory is that aliens came to Germany right before they went on tour in the 40s and gave Germany all kinds of useful technology. Ooh, someone play a theremin. Scary, spooky. Germany's top secret programs were full of all kinds of weird stuff and sometimes produce, well, great technology. It's not surprising that German technology from the time was close to 15 years ahead of everyone else. Seriously, it's, it's scary impressive. First jet plane, the tanks were superior in almost every way, their flashlights, infrared vision, just anything you can think of, theirs was probably better. What does not help disbelievers of this is the whole Diglock program. That's worth a good uh, Google search. It's a good afternoon for you, let me tell you. Secret Super Wonderwaff Research. If this sounds crazy, it's because a lot of this became the basis of the storyline in Call of Duty Zombies. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. It was, that was based on real stuff. Number one, the moon landing. The classic. For some reason, people want to believe that the moon landing didn't happen. Some sketchy evidence, a lack of footage, and some things that, well, really just can't be explained all that well. They often get misstrewned as they never went. I'm not smart enough to give you the science on how it happened, and I'm pretty sure there's even like a reflector on the moon. If you shoot a really powerful laser out of the laser reflects back. But even without science, you have to think about it with history. Because this is how I think about it. In the 60s, there was a lot of spying, so if the Americans faked the moon landing, the Soviet Union would have found out, or said it, regardless of anti-American propaganda. The truth is, it was very time-consuming, dangerous, and expensive, which is also the reason why 
we haven't gone back because there really just isn't that much up there. That's gonna wrap it up for me today, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe here for more Chetty. Nice. I love you guys so much. Check out my socials down below. If you wanna go to the moon sometime, check them out. We'll go to the moon. We'll, we'll go to the moon. We'll dance to the moon. It'll be a fun time. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. That's a joke for the young kids out there. That's a joke for that's that's a, jo that's a joke for the youngins out there. Number five, Atari Dump. The 1983, sorry, number. Uh, uh.